How do YouTubers? Uh, just a little video we're going to do today just to show you the difference between a four jaw independent chuck and a three jaw self centering. People think that three jaw chucks are very accurate. Well, hopefully, this video will show you that they're not as accurate as you think. And to get the accuracy you need, you should always use the independent four jaw or an independent three jaw if you have one. So, let's start with the actual lathe itself. This is an old Myford, but there's a lot of you might have out there. They're a good machine. Uh, they seem to last years and years and they're very, very accurate. So you can see we've got the dial test indicator here, set up on the spindle. And as you can see, there is no movement whatsoever on that needle. There's just a little slight like a flick because there is just a little mark on the spindle. And as it comes around, you'll just see it flick on that. But apart from that, it's running dead true. So that's our first starting point. Okay, first of all, we've done, we've put a three jaw chuck on here. Now, it's an old Bernard chuck, but a lot of people say they're one of the best out there. Now, this chuck's probably 60, 70 year old. But as you can see, I've had a play around with it and tightened it up on a few different uh, pinions and also put the bar in different positions. This bar's a, a, an old hydraulic ram, so it's quite accurate. It's been a, a ground steel ram, so it's quite accurate. But as you can see, I'm getting about 2,000, through 2,000 inch there deflection, which for an old chuck is pretty good. Most modern chucks, you'll be, you'll be lucky to get that. So yes, very accurate, but still two throw out compared to what we had at the spindle. Now let's look at a four jaw uh, independent chuck and let's see what we can get with that. Right, so after a couple of minutes, just setting the four jaw up. Um, this is where the detail is all important to this. As you can see now, it's basically took me about a minute to do and I'm getting probably a tenth of a throw. Uh, run out on that so if you want to be more accurate than that <laughs> well I don't think you'll get much more accurate than that um, like I said the idea with the independent is you can push it around move the bar till it is truly central uh, truly true on the lathe this is just a little close up just to show the data test indicator on the four jaw independent uh, you can see uh, the movement there and just to prove it is actually touching the bar as you can see, it just moves slightly as I flex it. So, there you have it YouTubers. The four jaw independent. The only true way to get accuracy on your lathe. I hope this has helped. Until next time, ta-da.